So with the gaming industry or the, and the lottery continually reporting increases in revenue, why do we continually have cuts in education? After all, aren't most of the monies from the gaming industry earmarked for education? In, addis in addition, I know some tribes have requested an audit to determine where the money is going. Why hasn't this happened? There's, there's a lot of that one answer, uh, question. Obviously, the person asking the question is very informed. Um, I will speak generally to the question. I don't, I would not like to pursue more revenue from gaming of any sort. Um, I talked to you about the, the four quadrants of spending. Well, gaming kind of in, enters into its own, own realm. Um, you know, gaming, um, it, it, it's not a reliable way of, of receiving revenue, in my opinion. And it tends to be regressive in who it affects. And so I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't gamble. I, I don't believe that's a win-win scenario. I believe that's winning at the expense of other people's loss. And um, I, that's just something morally I don't, I don't believe in. So I don't want to go there um, as a as a form of income in, into education. So I don't. Um, I know the contracts will be renegotiated in a couple of years by our executive. Um, so perhaps something more favorable can be found in those negotiations. But in terms of going to that source for more income, that's not a direction I want to go. Somebody else? So two things really quickly, if I'm not mistaken. Of the 45% of the lottery money that goes to education, only 35 or 40% of that goes to K-12. The rest goes to higher ed, teacher retirement, and something else. So. When you were sold the lottery, you were sold thinking that the money was all going to education, but it doesn't. So, uh, and the lottery's bringing in less because we have more competition from tribal gaming because they have changed the nature of some of their gaming and the gaming that they've brought in isn't part of the compact. So you're getting less revenue stream from both things because of uh, changes in the way gaming has worked and then of course you have uh, more competing lotteries around Oklahoma. So, you know, things aren't static, things change all the time. So you can be sold an idea based on this is the amount of money you're gonna get, but today it's just not the case. I just need clarification. You say gaming, you are referring to uh, gambling at, on, on, at, at a casino, is that correct? I think that's the implication of the question. Very I good. explained it because we uh, also get asked questions it. about the law. I just, I just wanted to get a yes. clear definition because yes. These have both been very, very accurate uh, answers, but you also need to know we have absolute no control over that, zero. They are on uh, tribal lands. We have absolutely no control. Uh, the, the Indian nation that, is, that has the, the gambling on their land, we don't receive a dime of it. The only thing we get from uh, in the compact and the deal that we cut, we get uh, uh, tax revenue in the amount of what we call level three. I'm not a gambler, don't like gambling. It's really representing uh, Dunlap, I wish we didn't have gambling, but you're not picking up any of that money other than from the level three gambling machine, which is basically is what I understand and been identified to me and been told. That's a slot machine. We pick up about 110, 15, 20 million dollars each year from that from the tribes. We don't even know the amount of money they bring in. It's into the billions, but on the same token, let me flip to the tribes are doing a phenomenal job in their own areas. They protect the Cherokees, they have a phenomenal hospital, they're giving they're helping county governments in areas and county giving money to build roads and bridges. I know that for a fact. The commissioner's here to, to verify that. So, but we don't, <clears throat> we don't make a lot of money on that. As far as the lottery, you need to know the history on that. Governor Henry sold that. We'd get $300 million in, in public education. Many people told him, Governor, that ain't gonna happen. He modified it to like 250. Then he brought it down to 180. You need to know the most money we've ever collected on the lottery is about $69 million, and the senator gave you the answer. It's split between higher ed and education, and then a percentage of it goes to teacher retirement, a percentage of it goes to the consolidation fund. And, but <coughs> most of the public education has ever received, you get about $30, 31000000 million. It, it's never delivered on what it was promised for. Thank you. 